It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hey, everybody. Ernie Johnson welcoming you to the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm joined by the Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal, and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Tonight, we'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder playing against the Orlando Magic. Checking out the Magic, they're sitting at 500 over the last 10 games, kind of treading water. They'd really like to make a splash over the next few games. And for Paul George, it was a, it was a tough journey uh, coming back from that gruesome injury he suffered. Safe to say he's put that completely in the past, and he's been phenomenal the last few seasons. You know what, Ernie, I don't know why we're still talking about that. Not every player can come back from something like that. You know, it almost feels like he got better after the injury. Yeah, you know, he's he paying attention, attention, attention to him. all the nuances yeah, on the court. Yeah, he's paying attention. You know, he's paying attention to him because I think the overall thing that's impressive is his speed and his jumping ability that has come back. Time Good. for tip-off as we send Good it over one, to Kenny. Kevin Good Harlan one. for the call. <laughs> You're quick, Kenny. <laughs> No, it's coming now. It's coming. <laughs> oh, say does that star spangle banner yet wave oh, the land A stirring rendition of the Star Spangled Banner by the terrific Linda Lynn getting us ready for NBA basketball here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter David Aldridge. Here in Orlando, it's interconference basketball as the Magic look to defend home court at the Amway Center. They're getting their first look at the Thunder in this one. And not only a 1-1 split series between these two teams last year, guys, but both wins were on the road, so home court advantage wasn't that big an advantage. Yeah, interconference matchup. Two, two teams that'll see each other only twice on the schedule. Yeah, and Greg, this is a big game for both teams. I mean, they don't see each other often, and you know they both want to get a win in this one. And nothing tips off a broadcast like getting the lowdown from the sidelines, and we've got David Aldridge there for that. David, good evening. Well, guys, we all know how hard Russell Westbrook plays every night. Coach Billy Donovan said he plays with such force and passion. He gets so intense, so competitive, so emotional, but he's doing a good job of bringing himself back together and understanding there's other guys out there depending on him. Kevin? And that's how Russ has always been, D.A., a high-motor player who leaves it all out on the floor. For a young player, Clark, it's adjusting to the speed of the NBA and the length of the schedule. So how do you power through that rookie wall? How, how do you survive that? Well, there's no magic formula, Kevin. You just have to stay the course because it comes in different times for different players. For me, it was after about 60 games. I was a starter playing 34, 35 minutes a game. So it was a combination of fatigue and just getting used to two and a half times more games than I had ever played in my career. So you fight through it, stay with your habits, stay with your preparation, and eventually you find your legs. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. Westbrook and Robertson are the backcourt pair. Anthony out there with Adams, and it's George in at the three side. Now here's Westbrook following the miss by Aaron Gordon. outside Westbrook and finished off by Westbrook and you know Westbrook has an outstanding vertical once he gets to the launching pad rim beware now here's Fournier right at the free throw line and the shot falls short this time here's Roberson no good from outside And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Dishes it to Peyton. Here's Vucevic. It's hauled in by Adams. They are 0 for the game thus far. 0 of 4 here. Still looking 
for their first mate. Took him no time at all on that one. And the shooting form of Anthony, just perfect. He's dangerous with the catch and shoot and just terrific at scoring when in rhythm. Now, here's Fournier. He picked up 15 points in their last win against the Pacers in Indianapolis. And it was an unselfish night for him as well. He got plenty of assists to go along with all those points. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. And Vucevic kicks to Ross. Buries the 20-footer. Really impressive seeing a guy like Vucevic carve up the defense with his peripheral vision and passing. So good at spotting the open man. Westbrook with it. Now Peyton defending. Westbrook against Peyton. It's Westbrook with the drive. Good D by Peyton. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Ross, excellent D there from George. That's what they want. A good look from the mid-range game? Hey, but unfortunately, they came up empty. Roberson gets the bucket. Here's Peyton. He picked up 12 points in their last win against Indiana. And he was also a terrific creator in that game as well. His assist total show you what a fantastic all-around effort it was. And the scoring mindset of Vucevic working some real magic driving to the hole and finishing with style. Here's Westbrook. Vucevic with the block. Peyton kicks to Gordon. That's in coming off an assist from Peyton. And it's a tie ball game. And a good example there of why it's important to change ends quickly. Vitally important. I mean, if you relax for a second, you're cooked. You're toast. They learned that lesson there. Offensive rebound. Here's Westbrook outside for George. No good from outside. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Here's Fournier, the rim-rattling two-handed jam. Boy, I love the way Peyton is always looking to swing the ball. I mean, he's constantly on the lookout for the ball reversal to help an open teammate get a shot. Now here's Anthony. 14 points from him the last game against the Mavericks in Dallas. Yeah, excellent work on the boards that night. Always in attack mode, and that allowed him to get plenty of rebounds. Here's Peyton. The lead is two. Out of bounds, Oklahoma City takes possession. And, you know, that pass wasn't deflected or anything, Kevin. Don't see that often. An unfortunate, unforced turnover. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played... And Roberson kicks to Westbrook. And Westbrook throws it down. And that is a major league flush right there, my friends. And in a tight contest like this, Greg, that might be just what they need to get the tide rolling in their direction. You're exactly right. I mean, so often when a team gets that kind of explosive play out of its backcourt, that can really rally and galvanize the whole squad. Scooped up. And the basket by Peyton. Terrific hustle from the point guard, Peyton. His basketball IQ is really impressive in how he tracks down these rebounds. He's got a knack for chasing down the ball. Now, here's Westbrook. 26 points for him last game against Dallas. And George kicks to Roberson. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Gordon. He's not shooting a high percentage right now, and part of the reason could be that his shot quality is poor, and he's just got to be... Um, be a little smarter about his shots. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. And you look at the post-up bangers who don't block shots at a high level. More and more, we're seeing teams relegate them to that six-man role off the bench. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how that affects a guy like Vucevic, who, who fits that description. Here's Peyton following the basket by Russell Westbrook. Vucevic is screen on George. Ross on the wing. Vucevic setting the pick for Ross. Just five to shoot. Poked away. And it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touched by Ross. Just a moment to look back at how things were last season for this team as we look at the shot breakdown for the Magic. And they really based almost their entire offense around the three-point shot. Spread the floor. 
space the defense, and if the deep shots aren't falling, at least it should open things up inside. Oklahoma City trailing. George dishes to Westbrook. Anthony with a screen on Peyton. It's George on the wing, defended by Gordon. Shots good by Anthony. It's all knotted up. And love the muscle Anthony brings to the three spot. Takes pride in outworking everyone when he's that deep inside. Now, here's Vucevic. He had 13 points in the win against Indiana. And, of course, you, you cannot forget just how dominant his shot blocking was in that game. Just changed the entire complexion of that game. And Evan Fournier out of France. His father was a judo champion. And, you know, Fournier is conscious of European players' reputation for being more finesse, soft, if you will. And I think he's done a nice job being aggressive and getting himself to the free throw line by playing a more physical game. I think at 6'7", he wants to dispel that reputation as being a finesse guy. And the first one drops. And in a relatively short time, Fournier has really increased his role in the league. I mean, he's a player you have to guard and, and keep an eye on at all times. Both shots good from the strike. Greg, you watch the Thunder play, and it's clear that this team comes out looking to attack. Everyone on the team wants to put it on the floor and go right at the rim. And part of that is their leader, Westbrook, just setting the tone. I mean, team finished near the top in points in the paint last season, and the addition of Paul George just helps to enforce that strength. Feeds to Ross. Gordon a screen. Ross kicks to Vucevic. And slam dunk by Vucevic. Ross has earned his reputation as a team first guy. Excellent at distributing the ball. The feed to Westbrook. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Alfred Payton. And when you watch Russell Westbrook play, He's one of the most competitive players in the NBA. And with the way he attacks the rim and plays with just no abandon, I mean, this guy is no joke. Uh, absolutely wills himself and his team to just do things that few others can and relentless from the first quarter Gentlemen, to the shot. last whistle. Move shot. Free throw good, Westbrook. Well, Clark, your whole career, you were a fantastic rebounder, re really at all levels you played in. With that in mind, who do you think are some of the best rebounders right now in the NBA? Well, for me, it's all about the consistency of getting rebounds at both ends of the floor, and I tend to lean towards those guys that get a bunch of offensive rebounds. So in that regard, Kevin Love, Hassan Whiteside, Andre Drummond, those guys are tenacious and highly productive on the offensive board. From deep of Flello, it's rebounded by Oklahoma City. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. Well, listen, I I've seen worse performances offensively, but no doubt that group was inconsistent. For sure. Agree with you there. They just didn't have it. Seemed like they were a step behind and out of sync. And, and already, they've staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And the trend they'd love to continue right through the next three quarters as well, Greg. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved a layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. That's good from Simmons. 
And for the Magic, it's really been a musical chairs with their coaches. A lot of churning on the roster, but the pieces still have yet to gel. And honestly, it's been a mess. Alex Sabrinas has checked in for Russell Westbrook. Both good from the line that time. And if you're running the Magic, Greg, what's the roadmap to contention? Well, first and foremost, it's always going to have to start through the draft. Uh, I mean, you, you've got to be able to get core pieces there. Uh, and then you want to continue to add perimeter shooting and, and focus on developing your young talent based on the way the game is played today. Here's Augustine. Outside, Simmons. Here's Spates. Misses off the right iron. Yeah, that's just poor decision-making. He's got to be better in those situations. Greg, I just think he was in a hurry. He flat-out rushed it. I mean, I don't know what he was thinking there. He actually was in a brain-neutral position. Spates sets a screen, and Simmons kicks to Spates. Misses the three. Oklahoma City's gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. Launches a three. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Hey, I tell you what, the contest on that shot was lacking. Very subpar, which is why the shooter buried it. Now here is Augustine. He's guarded close. Yep, that one goes in there. And I like how crafty Augustine gets in the pick and roll, Kevin. Outstanding at reading what's available and taking advantage of the defense's mistakes. Now here's Felton. Nine points last game. Shoots from the baseline. Simmons with the defensive effort. Well, Orlando shooting at around 42% since the opening tip. There's the pass to Spates. Spates sets a screen. Six to shoot. A follow. No good. Well executed. Great rhythm. You've got to finish that one. Agree with you there, partner, because that screen really freed him up nicely, and that's a shot. And if you're a pro, you need to make that one. Yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Augustine with it. Now Felton defending. Spades the pass to a follow. Over to the wing. But three. They get it again. Simmons with it. 11 points for him in that last game against Indiana. No good from Spates. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. And Patterson kicks to Eustace. And stolen by Simmons. There's the three. Here's Isaac. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Terrific activity from Isaac. Excellent at using his length to get those steals. Felton attacking. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Felton's got his first two points. Hey, and when guys at this level are that close to the basket, they ain't missing. I mean, especially when there's no defense in the neighborhood. Swiped it away. Oh, and a fast break for Oklahoma City. Well, that's why they're in front. Aggressive play at both ends. Nicely done. There's 126 left in the first quarter. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. They set the screen. Augustine against Patterson. Down to five on the shot clock. High arcing shot. A shot missing. So the Thunder will take it the other way. This offense has really been clicking. And they know it, guys. They're playing right now with the kind of energy that is hard to deal with. Now here's Simmons. Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. Here's Aprinas. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And really, the past few seasons, the Thunder have just been a dominant team on the glass they do a great job of limiting second chance points and they get a lot of extra possessions with their own offensive rebound the first free throw is good 
You look over the roster of the Thunder, and it's easy to see why they're such a great rebounding team. One through five can come up with ten boards on any given night. And, and those rebounding totals usually translate to wins for this team. But very rarely do they lose a game when they're having their way on the glass. The, the goal at the end of the night is to play the bully in and around that painted area. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Well, I tell you what, like how cool and collected he was getting the job done at the line in this one. Felton against Augustine. Has the space. A follow outside. We've got 28 seconds left to play in the first quarter. There's a good screen. Shot clock at five. Ring shot on the way. You know, the offense is sputtering a bit here, starting to fall behind. Yeah, it's been a cold start, no doubt, but they've got to find a way to put some points on the board. Twelve seconds left here in the opening quarter. Kicks to Patterson. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. This is his first free throw of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Good on the second free throw. Augustine from outside. That misses. Would have counted had it gone in. And so it's Oklahoma City holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And power forward Patrick Patterson getting better every season. He said that his college career at Kentucky really helped prepare him for his life as a pro. You know, I think my three years at Kentucky, you know, caused what I am now, you know, as far as being a sound player, you know, a guy who's not all about himself, who puts his team first and who works hard and who doesn't talk back, who doesn't do the negative things. You know, he's a team player, he's a team guy, and he works hard. Patterson Clark, exactly the guy he says he is, and that's why he's one of those glue guys you've got to have on your team. And the kind of guy who his teammates love, because they know he's always going to have their back, always going to work hard, and, and always going to bring it. And now the second quarter, just getting set to start. What stands out to you from Oklahoma City in this one? Just playing suffocating defense. That's been the difference here for them. You know, Greg, I love watching this team get after it on defense. I mean, they play with a bit of edge and nastiness. So for Oklahoma City right now, Nick Collison out there with Patrick Patterson. Then there's Felton, and it's Hustis in at the three. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, Kevin, the Orlando Magic do have a stacked front court. They've got plenty of size. Head coach Frank Vogel said, in today's small ball NBA, we think we can beat the heck out of teams in the paint. But shooting has been a hindrance, and he conceded he might have to win some games, 68 to 65. Kevin? Going against the grain, D.A., thank you. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. And here's Augustine. Pass to Isaac. 
on the wing of Flalo. Spade sets a screen for a Flalo. Great use of the pick to create room for the jumper. Now Flalo's got his first basket. Great job of utilizing that screen and finding space to knock down the jumper. Good basketball. Here's Felton. It's hauled in by the Magic. They defeated Indiana in their last game. And anytime you come off the bench, you know your role. And that night, it was about scoring. Well, Greg, and I think it complements the starters when you can have such firepower coming off the bench. Here's Abrinas. Aaron Afalo picking up that last basket. Abrinas, the pass to Collison. Outside, Felton. Second chance shot. And there's the nice layup by Collison. And the Thunder lead by 11. Much love goes his way. I mean, he refused to give up on the glass. Uh, nice to see him rewarded because of his hustle. And Aflalo kicks to Spates. That three off the mark. The Thunder leading by 11. Let's the three fly. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Patterson's got six points. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make them pay. And it'll be Orlando with their first time out of the game right here. We always talk about what a good shot is from time to time. Clark, how would you define a good shot in the context of an offensive possession? To me, Kevin, a good shot is a shot that a guy can make 60 to 80% of the time when he takes it. Whether that's a three-point shot, your post-up moves, your mid-range jump shots. Those are quality shots. And then the other piece of it is you don't want to take a lot of contested shots. You can make them as a pro, but good shots are shots you can make 60 to 80 percent of the time. And usually that means you're getting open shots versus contested shots. So a new group on the floor for Orlando. And with that, the Thunder lead is cut down to just 12 points with the basket from Gordon. And Roberson kicks to Westbrook. Back to Robertson. He dishes it to George. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one on Vucevic. Well, when Paul George announced this summer that he intended to leave for the Lakers when the contract ran out, you, you knew what was coming. Even as a rental possibility, the, the suitors lined up and eventually the price was paid and now George finds oh, himself two in shots. a Thunder uniform. Two shot. That free throw good from George. And to many, the Thunder came out of nowhere to land George in that trade. You know, most thought Cleveland or, or maybe Boston were the front runners for his services, but the, the Thunder snuck in and made their team a two-star squad once again. Very interesting to see how far the duo of Westbrook and George can go. He hits both from the stripe. You know, George has a pretty quiet way about him. He's not a very demonstrative guy, and I think that's appealing. He kind of lets the game come to him and lets his game do his talking. Now, here's Fournier. The scoring numbers have been solid for him. He's averaging just under 14 points a game. Adams dishes to Robertson. Passes it to Carmelo. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Anthony's got six. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. Stolen. Westbrook against Peyton. Westbrook, no good. And he's just a tough defender. Good positioning to get after that shot. Did a good job guarding the mid-range. Extended out nicely and definitely bothered the shot. Now here's Peyton. Inside. And it's Vucevic. That time on the assist by Peyton. Peyton's got his fourth assist in this one. Now Westbrook. He kicks it to Carmelo. 
George against Ross. George passes to Adams. Shot clock at five. Puts it up. Anthony can't hit. The Magic trail by 14. And Fournier kicks to Ross. Out of bounds. Oklahoma City takes possession. And a quick look now at the NBA scoring leaders. Russell Westbrook third. And his contribution to his team offensively cannot be understated. He is always leading the way for them with his ability to put up points. Here's Roberson. Eight points his last outing. Adams dishes to George. Out to the wing. Jacks up a three. And it's Westbrook again missing. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Peyton kicks to Fournier. Gordon a screen. Fournier passes to Vucevic. Over George. No good off the back of the rim. Oklahoma City leading by 14. And Robertson has it in the corner. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That'll be his second foul of the game. Timeout, Aggressiveness timeout. is fine, but you can't be this over-aggressive. I think he's got to dial it back some. They need him on the floor. And clearly, Frank Vogel wants to talk it over. And Terrence Ross with probably his best season in 2016-17. Shot a career high from the field. And, Kevin, I think he can continue to even get better. I mean, with his bounce, I'd like to see him develop the mid-range shot in addition to his ball handling because that's a little loose. If he tightens the ball handling up, this guy can get to the rim and become a real force offensively. The shot's good from Fournier. Even when the defense is right up in Fournier, he's still tricky down inside. Constantly figures out ways to keep the defense guessing. Westbrook down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. Guys, he has been a major factor, big time. Outstanding at getting quality looks and, and knocking them down. Picked by Vucevic. Gordon kicks to Fournier. That shot is off. And the Thunder Out going the other way now. And after this one, they're home against Minnesota. They start a three-game homestand with that game. Peyton dishes to Ross. Back to Peyton. Over to the left wing. Here's Vucevic. Adams, a nice D. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. Deep two from Anthony. No good off the front iron. And low percentage look on that one. Not sure what he was thinking. I agree with you. Not a good shot. Not good offense. They can get a much better look than that. But they're going to need to be patient to do so. And, you know, Kevin, this team is struggling a bit right now. I mean, I hope he can find his rhythm and start making his shots out there soon. Otherwise, dot, dot, dot. No good from Ross. N not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. A shot by Anthony, no good. Boy, incredible effort on defense. Refusing to give him an uncontested layup. Nothing easy. He just never looks comfortable when he's that far away from the basket. The Thunder leading by 14 to the inside. Oklahoma City moving it around. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And one thing you have to say about Russell Westbrook, he is an absolute star. I mean, the type of player you can build around and win with. Just the total package on the offensive end of the floor. Shooting two. The free throw drops for Russell Westbrook. The numbers Westbrook put up last season in his MVP run, Greg, just staggering. 
And, and you figured his numbers would get a bump, <laughs> but I don't think anybody could have expected this guy to average a triple-double. I mean, arguably the most impactful superstar in the league. And he makes both free throws. And didn't shoot it all that well from the line in the first quarter. Doing a much better job now in the second, up over 80%. Now here's Ross. A 20-point game for him in the win against Indiana. Fournier passes to Vucevic. Over Adams. And it's Vucevic missing. Oklahoma City leading by 16. And George kicks to Westbrook. Over Payton. And it's Westbrook again missing. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Peyton dishes to Vucevic, and Adams sends it back. He's lost it in this quarter, no doubt about it. Nothing seems to be going for him. So the whistle blows on the shot, and two free throws for the contact right there. It's going to be on Aaron Gordon. You know, one of the things Paul George PG has done is improve his ball handling, and as a result, defenders are nervous when he's handling the ball and getting up into a shot. Really hard to think of a more impactful perimeter defender than, than PG, Paul George. I mean, his combination of size, athleticism, and technique enabled him to smother the opposition at times. Shooting two. throw good Paul George and Paul George a lockdown defender at 6'9 Clark 6'10 he has the foot speed to stay with players a foot shorter yeah he's a very unique defender with his size length and speed and athleticism gets around screens doesn't get screened he can recover the shooters I mean he's the real complete package at the defensive end And George drops them both. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Yeah, you have to make teams pay for fouling you. That's why they call them free. And they've done exactly that. Made them pay. Now a timeout called by Orlando. Clark, when you were playing, what was your game day routine like? Well, it was simple. I didn't complicate things, Kevin. I tried to get a good meal. was just beginning to learn how to eat properly and best for my body. And then I would always try to get an hour to two hour pregame nap. That goes all the way back to high school. I enjoy just getting off my feet. Sometimes I would fall asleep completely. Other times I would just kind of drift into a light sleep. But just having that routine of resting before games was part of how I got ready to try to serve the other guys up. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Gordon, the pass to Peyton. And Anthony sends it back. Peyton against Westbrook. The three from George. Good. A nice assist from Westbrook. George has got seven points in the game. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Oklahoma City. Well, in the first half of play, they're closing out aggressively, blocking shots. A key indicator of their activity on the defensive side. Another big aspect of their game tonight has been the fast break, transition opportunities. They're really keeping it up tempo so far. For three, Ross hits in and hoping this is the start of a new trend. Two for eight now from the field. Man, I like the three-point stroke of Ross. Gets it off so effortlessly. Man, he's got terrific form. And first timer of the game called for Oklahoma City. And beyond his ability to shine on the basketball floor, you have to commend Carmelo Anthony's effort, Greg, to get NBA players and other athletes more involved in making the world a better place. Yeah, I mean, there's still a lot of work to be done, but guys like Melo see what is beyond the world of basketball. He's spoken out as well as done the legwork of being active in his communities and a lot of charity work for Melo. It's just nice to see the maturation process play out. And Oklahoma City going with a whole new group out there. Out left to the wing. Hustis kicks to Felton. He feeds it to Patterson. The baseline jumper goes down. He's got eight. We've got 155 left to play here in the half. Spates sets a screen. 
and Simmons kicks to Spates. Now the dish to Augustine. Down to five on the shot clock. And Spates with the basket on the assist by Augustine. Yeah, nice vision from the little fellow there. Augustine making it easy for his teammates by finding the open man. Now the pass to Abrinas from deep. And no good. And Orlando will come the other way. Augustine against Felton. Spates with a screen on Felton. Now here is Augustine. D right on him. Dishes to Spates. Did they get a bet. The shot, no good. The Thunder leading by 16. Outside, Felton. Here's the screen. Rebounded by Isaac. Isaac's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's a follow. He scores the basket. That's field goal number three for him. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Hatterson misses the lamp. He had him with that bump fake. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. Here's Isaac, and he banks in the layup. Hey, if you're going to get offensive rebounds, you've got to stay active, and Isaac does that, doing a nice job utilizing his reach to snap. Got it! He got it! <laughs> Just in time! What a shot! Wow, what a miracle heave to finish off the quarter. How'd he get that one to go? I don't know, but I think that's a 2% shot. He'd make two out of a hundred of those if you gave them to him. And so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder. Their lead at 15 going into the break. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Russell, how confident are you that there's nobody that can stay in front of you? Uh, very confident. Uh, I have a lot of confidence in myself. Uh, I put a lot of work in in the summertime, and I'm you know, very confident. That is never a problem for you, Russ. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome, everybody. So far, a pretty one-sided first half. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It was all Russell Westbrook in the first quarter. He had 13 points, three rebounds, and one assist. Kenny, let's get your take on Oklahoma City. Their perimeter shooting has made the difference, and so many of their points are coming from long range. They've come out, spread the floor, and executed their jump shooting game. It's been a barrage from the three-point line. Guys always finding the open shot. If they can stay hot from three-point land in the second half, this game is over. Check. what would you think about Orlando? They were brick city and it was painful to watch. Weak shooting starts to get contagious and they were struggling all over the place. They got to work on getting more high quality chances, more layups, fewer prayers. That's it for now as the second half's just about ready to go. Welcome back, everyone, to the start of the second half. Big margin on our hands, but we'll see if that gap narrows down in the third and fourth quarters. Russell Westbrook really making a difference here. His points production thus far off the charts. It's only been two quarters. Just a great effort for him for the entire half. Yeah, and it doesn't matter where he is on the floor either, Greg. He's making it look very easy. He's looking to score the ball. And as we begin the second half, first half wasn't even close, guys, and we'll see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same as we get the third quarter started. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. On the court for Orlando, Fournier and Ross, they're the wings. The big men are Gordon and Vucevic, and it's Peyton in at the point guard. 
Fournier gets a wide open look. Good on the three point shot. Fournier's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for the Magic. And the Magic benefiting from multiple first round picks this summer. They needed the help. Yeah, they did. And they need a big hit in the draft. I mean, they've lacked star talent, and we know this is a talent driven league. Either you develop stars or you pull them into your fold. Uh, they've got to find some difference makers. There's no doubt about that. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Oklahoma City leading by 12. Here's George. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And a moment to see numbers for Vucevic. Sixth in blocks, 11th in rebounding. And he's in the top 20 in steals, bringing that focus and intensity at both ends. And his ability to patrol the lane is a difference maker for that team. Exceptional timing and, and anticipation. That's why he's a top 10 shot blocker. That free throw good from George. Um, this summer, a new front office taking over in Orlando after a rebuild effort that stretched back five seasons. Magic fans hoping they can get things headed in the right direction now. And both free throws good for Paul George. And for the Magic, do you think hiring a new GM will get the team headed, Clark, in the right direction? Well, that's a good question, but I think that's a start. And again, alignment is so key when you talk about organizational success from your ownership through your president, general manager, coaching staff. Everybody has to be committed to their alignment and culture. Their current structure has some overlap between business and basketball operations. I think that all has to be smoothed out. But uh, one step at a time, one brick at a time. Westbrook kicks to Roberson. Shoots over Fournier. They grab their own miss. And that one drops for him. Adams has got his first basket. Maybe with that, the lid on this basket will be lifted for him. It's Fournier on the wing. Feeds it to Vucevic. Picked him clean. Here's George. Orlando grabs the miss. Vucevic has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Inside. When Gordon gets room to shoot, he will not hesitate now. I mean, he's very confident from that spot on the floor. The Thunder leading by 14. Adams with the screen on Peyton. Westbrook dishes to Adams. It's stolen by Vucevic. And there's the foul. That's on Steven Adams. That's his first foul. The Magic have gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. To the paint, it's stolen by Adams. Oh, that's a tough pass to make there. He had a very narrow gap to squeeze it through and just couldn't get it done. Boy, a nice show of strength that time from Paul George, absorbing the hit and still carving out space to get the shot to go down. And as you would expect, Stephen Adams has grown into a larger role with this team really came in as a guy who could defend and rebound but starting to become more of a factor within their offensive framework one shot mind the lane throw good Paul George and Greg with Adams he hasn't just been given more opportunity to display what he can do on offense he's earned it you hit it right on the head and you know as an example a guy that was a, a bad free throw shooter all of a sudden he became respectable because of his work ethic last season uh, much more nimble in the paint than most would think just good awareness and he knows when to pick his spots and when you take a look at that shot chart the amount of misses lately, really unbelievable. Yeah, a lot of blanks there. Can't hit a thing. Has to be deflating. Vucevic a screen on George. Here's Ross. The second chance effort. He lays it in. Ross has got his third basket of the night. 
really active down there, imposing his will and force and seeing his efforts pay off. Westbrook drives in. The shot off that time. Good D by Payton. Ross in the corner. Beyond the arc. Westbrook pulls it in. Westbrook's got his fourth rebound in this one. He's still looking for his first three-pointer of the second half after making just one in the first. And Fournier kicks to Payton. Chalk up two there. Eight points for Aaron Gordon. The inside is where Gordon is really most comfortable and effective. Very few defenders can get to a shot given how high he gets up on it. Back to Robertson. The feed to Anthony. From the arc. Rebounded by Vucevic. Boy, he has been cold for a while now. Yeah, he has been, and he's got to find his stroke because he's holding back his team as a result of his poor shooting. A good look there, and he didn't waste it. His second three of the game. The Thunder leading by 10. Westbrook with it. Now Peyton defending. Here's Roberson. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for Oklahoma City. I like the work they've done at the free throw line all throughout this game. They've been the aggressors. They've also jumped on any opportunity they've had to attack the basket tonight. I mean, excellent penetration. Two shots. Relax on the first. No good on the free throw. And Clark, we know that players are evaluated in a historical perspective, largely by how many rings they have. Do you think that's a fair way to evaluate things? I don't think you can solely evaluate an individual player in a team sport by the number of rings he's been able to win. Clearly, it can be part of the criteria, especially if you're talking about great players who have had similar careers. It can be a differentiator. But to me, it doesn't necessarily carry the weight that some people like to give it in evaluating players. Individual performance over time is what, to me, marks the hallmark of a player worthy of Hall of Fame consideration or being talked about being one of the greats in the game. Pass to Westbrook. An easy two points on the layup. Westbrook's got 15 points. Man, you got to admire how easily Westbrook takes over games. I mean, an offensive juggernaut who is tenacious when it comes to scoring. Off his leg, and the ref saying he kicked it. Fournier passes to Vucevic. Back to Fournier. Ross on the wing. Defended by George. Just four to shoot. With the teardrop. And you know what? He's just not on his game. No doubt about it. Their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not been an asset for his team. Anthony dishes to Westbrook. Back to Anthony. Right block shot. Ross grabs the board. The Magic trail by 11. Takes a three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Adams has got his seventh rebound here tonight. And Clark, you were around Coach Frank Vogel quite a bit during his run as head coach of the Pacers. Well, when you look back on it, what stands out? His preparation. He's an eager learner. He's meticulous in his detail. He's even killed and extremely positive. I think he's an outstanding young coach and good to see him having a team that he can have an opportunity to build and shape into a playoff contender at some point. Connects from three-point range. Yeah, awesome watching Westbrook drain the three ball there. He just needs to focus on being a little more efficient from downtown. 
Now here's Fournier. Defense right on him. Picked by Vucevic. Shot to stop the run. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. Really like to see Fournier go with the mid-range jump shot. This guy is a high percentage shooter, particularly from that spot on the floor. And Adams kicks to Anthony. Fires the three. Westbrook can't get it to go. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. Ross with a wide open look. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. Peyton's got assist number eight here in this one already. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. When you talk about a pass first point guard, that's Alfred Peyton. That's his mentality and his gift. He's exceptional at it. He's been a good playmaker right from the start. A pure point guard. Old school in his ability to really focus on setting up his teammates. So a new group on the floor for Orlando. A different look for Oklahoma City. And we see a chart here for the shooting performance so far for Westbrook. And this is a grown man shot chart right here. Not too much going on outside, but look at how things are for them in the paint. They are attacking the rim and not settling for the jump shot. And right now it's paying off in bunches. If I'm them, then I'd continue to do the same thing going forward until an adjustment is made. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-hander, just like pound cake. <laughs> I would agree. <laughs> a follow and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And let's quickly go to our rookie leaderboard to find out which rookies have blocked the most shots this season. You look at Isaac, fifth in the league and patrolling the paint. And that ability to send shots away at the rim, so highly valued, it takes guts to put yourself in harm's way and contest those finishers. Well, he does such a good job of positioning Two himself, shots. so you have a hard time getting shots over him. One of the best of all rookies denying the rim. And he makes the first. And a follow drops them both. The Thunder leading by 11. Outside, Felton kicks it to Patterson. Patterson, the screen. Pass to Abrinas. He dishes it to Felton. There's the pick. Takes the three. Orlando grabs the miss. And now, here comes Augustine, leading the break. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Augustine's got his second basket. Oklahoma City's gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. In the corner, it's Patterson. Off target from three-point range. The Magic trail by nine. Moving it up. For the finish, the fast break ends at the rim with a jam. They needed a run desperately, and boy, did they come up big. And you know, it wasn't just about getting hot offensively. Defensively, they've been stellar as well. Collison kicks to Felton. Patterson passes to Collison. Felton dishes to Collison. Launches it. And there's Felton. That's good. On the assist from Nick Collison. And that's now seven points for Raymond Felton. Now here is Augustine. A follow outside. And again, it's the magic from deep. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Here is Abrinas. He's got 13. There's a good screen. Patterson can't get it to go. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. 
And they're showing much more focus here in the second half. More effort as well. And their offense starting to show signs of life. Collison kicks to Felton. Let's it go from 11. Felton can't get that one to fall. Here's Orlando now. They're on a 16-5 run. Offensive rebound. Isaac misses. Well defended, though, and, and he's not someone who handles that kind of pressure very well. Felton the pass to Abrinas. Good. A nice assist from Felton. Felton's got assist number seven for him tonight. Just a little confusion among the D as to who was supposed to be on it. There's a screen. Spates kicks to a follow. Spates sets a screen, and the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Here's where Oklahoma City sits in the NBA statistical standings right now. Uh, you, they don't make many mistakes. I just love the mental toughness. You saw third fewest turnovers per game. Great decision making is so valuable, particularly down the stretch. Definitely a notch in their favor. Felton with the ball. Now guarded by a fall. A nice shot by Collison. You know, he almost pulled the trigger on that possession, but recognized that there was a better option. That's what we mean by playing for your teammates. The Magic trail by 10. We've got 113 left in the third. Spade sets a screen for Augustine, and the call will be against Nick Collison. That's his first foul. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Yeah, but he was late to get there, Greg, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. Knocks it loose. 106 left in the third. Five on the clock. The Magic need to get a shot off here. Here's Spates. Once again off the mark, Orlando. Oklahoma City leading by 10. Felton with the ball. He has seven. Collison inside. Rebounded by Isaac. Isaac's got nine rebounds now tonight. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure, but unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Oklahoma City shooting 43% from the field. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Felton. Count it. And now it's a 12-point Oklahoma City lead. And some guys just have a nose for scoring. And this one couldn't have been any easier. Yeah, that was actually no defense at all there, Greg. I mean, layups don't come any easier than that. I mean, they're piling it on now. And so it's the Oklahoma City Thunder going into the break with a 10-point lead. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fast break has been a central part of their offense. And we'll be right back after this. Let's take a listen to a recent huddle from Coach Billy Donovan. We got to now start to anchor down defensively right now. Trust each other and trust the load. It's not just one-on-one -on -one defense. It's together. A little help from your friends. This is what Billy wants. He wants a lot of communication, wants teamwork. And uh, guys, you were talking during that break to think his team is listening. You know, you also have to credit the other team. I always say, you know, they get checks on the 1st and 15th also. I mean, the offensive play calling is having an effect, and let's just see how they respond. Hello, and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play getting started. And Oklahoma City, look at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. They've got Patrick Patterson, also Nick Collison out there. Felton is out there with Eustace, and it's Abrinas in at the two-guard spot. Here's Simmons. No good there, and that would have cut it to single digits. Oklahoma City leading by 10. Felton dishes to Collison. Back to Felton. Oklahoma City moving it around. Tries it from nine. Abrinas' shot is off. 
when he's got that kind of positioning, he's got to score it. Got to score the ball from there. The offensive rebound. And Spates gets it to go. Spates has got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Magic. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. Yeah, just hitting a reset button. A chance to kind of talk some things over. Yeah, recalibration time with the timeout call there. Orlando making some changes. Aaron Gordon is checking in for Isaac. Terrence Ross comes in for Aaron Aflala. And it's Peyton in for Augustine. Then for the Thunder, Adams, he's checked in for Collison. Paul George comes in for Eustace. And Russell Westbrook subbed in for Raymond Felton. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, during the break, I listened in on Billy Donovan's huddle with his team. He gave them props for their defense. He said, the defense has been outstanding. Keep pressuring them, forcing turnovers, and we can win this one, guys. And Simmons kicks to Spates. Stolen by Westbrook. To the paint. Oh, and the jam by Westbrook. And guys got careless with the ball there, and the turnover leads to the big stuff. Once he came up right with the steal, he went straight on the attack. That's exactly the way to do it, too, Kevin. Go hard to the bucket and don't let them set up the defense. Spades kicks to Peyton. He gets hauled in by Adams. Oh, great effort there. That's how you defend the paint. Exactly. Can't play it any better than that, Greg. They're running, and the shot goes in. Well executed, and then you love the strong finish. Fantastic speed on the break. Speed kill, showing no mercy in transition there, partner. And Patterson kicks to Westbrook. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Aaron Gordon. And Russell Westbrook is as explosive a guard as we've seen in the history of the game. An incredibly gifted scorer who can also punch it on you. And he knocks down the first one. Orlando making some changes. Vucevic comes in for Maurice Spates. And Fournier subbed in for Jonathan Simmons. Both free throws good from Westbrook. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Peyton passes to Vucevic. To the middle. Here's Gordon, and then Gordon with the dunk. And Gordon's eyebrows go up when he sees an opportunity to drop the hammer. This guy is a phenomenal athlete who throws it down with some major force. Westbrook kicks to George. Pass to Patterson. Plenty of space. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Westbrook's got three assists now in this one. Love the attitude of Westbrook. Continues to improve at running the offense and finding ways to create opportunities for his teammates. And then Gordon with the dunk. And when Gordon is launched and in the air like that, he's a mesmerizing guy to keep an eye on and just get out of the way. It was beautiful the first time, but Under Armour showing us the replay of that tremendous alley-oop again. Another Unleash Chaos moment. Patterson, the screen. Westbrook drives in, and the dunk by Westbrook. Man, I tell you what, one of the things I love about Westbrook is the ferocity with which he attacks the rack. When he's driving inside, he's trying to punish the defender and the basket. Peyton kicks to Vucevic from 11 feet away, and it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Oklahoma City leading by 13. Left side, George over Ross. That's good for George on the assist by Adams. 
Adams has got five assists tonight. Hey, all the defense can do is get a hand up on George. I mean, he's an elite talent who can make contested jumpers a lot of times. So you can't get your head down. This guy can really put it in the basket. Pulls up on the wing, and again, it's Oklahoma City. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense, Greg, has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Moss against George. Here's Vucevic. That will fall for his seventh bucket. Seven for 15 in this game. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. It can't happen. And Adams with the slam. And, and guys, that's his game. I mean, battling in the paint and, and cashing in on those second chance opportunities. And Greg cashing in hard. I mean, man, oh man, he puts an <laughs> exclamation point on that dunk. Yes. Guys, that's the only way he knows how to do it. Soft, I don't even think is in his vocabulary. And, and Alfred Payton, uh, the 10th pick back in that 2014 draft. And remember, the Magic looked at him as their point guard of the future. And, and last season, at times, he was coming off the bench. And it, it's been about that lack of progress as a shooter that I think is the biggest concern with this team. That's good from Peyton. And for Alfred Peyton, shooting has always been his Achilles heel. Yeah, as a defender, passer, penetrator, I think he's solid. But shooting has become so important in our league right now. He needs that perimeter shot to really have a chance to get to the next level. Catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Carmelo Anthony comes in for Patrick Patterson. And it's Roberson in for Alex Sabrinas. You know, one of the things that jumps out at you immediately when you look at Peyton is his size. I mean, he's a 6'4 point guard who knows how to use his body and skill set to his advantage. Here's Roberson, kept alive. And I love how his teammates have stepped up for him. He's struggling, but they're ramping it up and getting it done this quarter. Picked by Vucevic, and the foul on Carmelo Anthony. That's his first foul. Peyton dishes to Fournier. There's the pick. Vucevic to the pass to Peyton. Three on the clock with nobody on him. He buries the jumper. And they've really gotten on track here in the second half. After that shaky start, the field goal percentage steadily climbing. They couldn't make anything in that first break. Anthony with the bucket. Yeah, just superb focus there from Mello. Overpowering the D, one of the best shooters we have in this game. And Fournier kicks to Ross. He feeds it to Peyton. Lob pass to Gordon, and it's Gordon finishing it off. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Oh, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Tell you what, you wouldn't know they're the team trailing when they're able to pull off plays like that. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Well, you could feel the clock ticking for Mello's time in New York, and this offseason, it finally ended, Greg. Yeah, and for a team like this to add Mello to the mix, what a blessing. I mean, Mello still has a ton of offense to offer, and hard to add a player so skilled as Mello for practically nothing. And the first one drops. And you know, Carmelo Anthony is a special player, guys. A bulky, small forward with a quick trigger release and elite score. So after making the first, he goes one for two. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. 
Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure, but unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Gordon with the screen for Fournier. Pick by Vucevic with the fadeaway. The shot, no good. And Oklahoma City will go with it the other way. And Roberson kicks to George. That's his sixth field goal today, and that makes him now six for 11. Well, nothing was going down for him in the first half, but since the break, he's been on target. Gordon with the screen for Peyton. 13 feet away, and it's Gordon missing. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you could see the frustration on his face. That one is off. And the second free throw, good. The Magic trail by 17. And he elevates for the slam dunk. Steven Adams did not like that at all. Hey, listen, Gordon once jumped over a mascot while putting the ball under his legs in a dunk contest. I mean, he's one of the most ridiculous athletes and dunkers we have in the game. Robertson dishes to Westbrook. And sticking right with it, gets the foul with the bucket, and he'll go to the line. And doing a really good job here of pounding it inside in the second half. Sound strategy with the lead. And that one falls for Westbrook. Here's Peyton. It's Fournier on the wing. He kicks it to Vucevic. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Westbrook's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. The dish now to George. And Robertson has it in the corner. No good with the triple. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. There's the pick. George passes to Westbrook. Ball's knocked loose. And here we go with the magic fast break. And Ross with the slam. And you know, from one end to the other, that play was all Ross. His length can be a real factor. The pass to Adams, dishes it to Robertson, looking for Anthony, and gets it there. Back to Robertson. Adams in the high post, feeds it to Robertson. Four on the shot clock. Offensive rebound. And Adams kicks to Westbrook. Down, 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 down. Westbrook double teamed. Pass to Roberson. Back to Westbrook. Another shot. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. The Magic trail by 14. Ross kicks to Fournier. With the putback. 
It's hauled in by Paul George. Oklahoma City's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Outside Westbrook. The feed now to Carmelo. Here's Roberson. Here's Adams. Buries it down low. Boy, the defense looked helpless there. I mean, he's going to lay it up every time when he's got a smaller defender on him. Peyton dishes to Ross. A minute 42 left to play in the final quarter. Here's Vucevic. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. Steven Adams picks one up. Well, you know, as the NBA continues to change, Nikola Vucevic is an interesting case study. He's got the skill level for today's game, but the question is, does he have the mobility? He's not that quick of foot, and that's been problematic for him. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. free throw drops for Vucevic and more than ever before the NBA requires big man to cover a lot of ground Vucevic looking to keep up yeah Vucevic I think is really a terrific rebounder and passer and you can see all of his positives he can score on the block and make the three-point shot I think it's just a matter of him consistently tying all of that together and Clark, we saw this a bit last season. When a team is up and it's garbage time, are there unwritten rules as far as shooting or scoring go? Yeah, I think you always want to play within the spirit of the game, the spirit Take of the rules, the Two respect shot. of the game, and the respect of your opponent. So to me, that should be you try to always do what's right and just and fair at all times. And late game situations create an environment where you want to always take the high road and play the game with a uh, honoring attitude towards your opponents in the game. He hits both from the strike. And Evan Fournier out of France, an instinctive offensive player, Greg. Yeah, favorite player growing up was, was Manu Ginobili. And you can see some similarities in their games. Uh, Fournier possesses long-range shooting, but also able to handle and put pressure on the D with the dribble. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for Oklahoma City. They made more foul shots, and that was the difference. That, that was a big advantage. The other team was defending with their hands instead of moving their feet, and they handed them a lot of easy points at the line. And it'll advance their win total up to 12 on the season. And it always feels good to get that first win in a season series. Going head-to-head -head twice this year, this will put them up one nothing so far against the Magic. And as one might have guessed coming into this game, it was indeed another big game tonight for Russell Westbrook. And, you know, he was really important today. Integral, taking and making shots time and time again. Kicks it to Robertson. Back to Westbrook. Pass to Anthony. Gordon with the defensive effort. Here are the Magic now. 11-point game. Ross kicks to Fournier. Picked by Vucevic. It's Fournier on the wing. Defended by George. It's deflected, and it's out of bounds. Uh, they say it was last touched by Vucevic. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And here is Felton. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it really an outstanding effort all the way around. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Paul. Congrats on the win. Where is your team's attitude right now? Continue to, you know, play together. And we can just stick to that, keep working, staying confident, keep defending, um, and knocking shots down. We'll be all right. 
Looked like it all came together tonight, Paul. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.